Well, the AFL has taken a huge step in its support of marriage equality by replacing its logo with a yes sign at the league's headquarters in Melbourne. But not everyone's happy about it. Clubs, fans and some of the sport's biggest names say the AFL should not get involved. Premiership coach Mick Malthouse is calling them out, saying, quote, the AFL will only polarise people and really has no right to be involved in the political world of marriage equality. While Carlton, as a club, has said the AFL should stay out of the debate as it's about personal choice. However, AFL boss Gil McLaughlin is standing by it, saying, quote, we are a leader, whether people like it or not, and this is an issue that means a lot to many of our players and many of our employees and a lot of people in the community. We're joined now by Neil Mitchell from Melbourne's 3 aw Neil, good morning to you. Carl. OK, we asked our viewers uh, what they thought about, uh, about this story and 79%, 79% agree with the AFL showing public support. But they've taken that sign down now. Do, they think they've, do you think they've missed the mark here? Yeah, I think they have. And I, look, the, the sign wasn't even up 24 hours. Uh, why did they take it down already? I, th I think they're sensitive to it now. I think they've missed the mark. Uh, I don't think it's their role. To, it's fair enough to be inclusive and, and to take that stand, but this is a very in-your-face campaign. They are a sporting organisation. I think they've gone too far. There was even a proposition at one stage to paint the word yes on both grounds during the finals game this weekend, and that would have just looked bad. See, I disagree, uh, and this is what this debate should be. It should be both sides, uh, and it should yeah. be done in a dignified manner. Because I do think the AFL, I agree with Gil McLaughlin, I think the AFL has got involved in, in very, very significant community relations. They've been involved in race relations. They're involved in the Women's League. They're involved in campaigns against violence. They're involved against campaigns against domestic violence. They're involved in campaigns to raise awareness about mental health. Whether you like it or not, as Gil says, they are involved and they are a leader in the community... If the AFL isn't a community leader, then what is? Well, they are social campaigners, but their role is to run a sports organisation. They're putting themselves in a position they're going to have to have a view on everything. What do they think about the euthanasia laws in Victoria? What way do they want us to vote on constitutional recognition for mm. Aborigines? Uh, what about equal pay? They, they, they really are turning themselves into a semi, a quasi-political organisation. I think it'll irritate fans. If, if Christian groups uh, and, and the like are coming out, saying no and trying to encourage that, then, then why shouldn't the AFL do it? Well, a Christian group is based on a, on a religious and moral ethic. This is a, an organisation based on sport. I mean, I don't think we want it interfering in sport. There's far more division in this issue than I'd like to have seen. I think the debate's right off track. And, I, you know, I'm a yes, I support a yes yeah. vote, but I think there's a pushback, and I think the AFL will cause more pushback against the yes vote. Let's hope they just create more debate. I'd rather hear from, hear from Gil McLaughlin any day than the Premier. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>